Hey guys, in this video I will show you how I turned this into this. It's a simple wireless speaker with a rechargeable battery. What's special about it is that it's partially made of old junk, literally stuff that was going to end up in the dumpster eventually. Let me show you how I made it. It all started with uh, this portable speaker, which I bought online last year for something like $5. It was a very old model. It ran on AAA batteries and it could only connect to a phone with a headphone jack. But technically the speaker still worked and the sound quality was ok, so I decided to try giving it new life by adding a Bluetooth module and a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. To make sure that was technically possible, I had to take the speaker apart. I had to get an idea of how it worked and what components I could salvage. Luckily, the speaker was easy to open. I cut off the wires to the battery compartment and desoldered the audio connector. There were two printed circuit boards, one of them contained the amplifier and the speaker driver was soldered directly onto it. There was also this second PCB with the power button and some electronics on it. I easily figured out that pressing the power button simply shorted two of the wires. In the end I replaced this second circuit board with a simple switch. And that was pretty much it. As expected this was a simply made speaker which made it ideal for a project like this. The speaker and the amplifier were definitely usable so I saved those. I also saved the plastics, you will see why later on. At this point it was a good time to make sure everything still works, so I connected the electronics from the speaker to a power source and a Bluetooth audio receiver and used a piece of wire to short the pins where the second PCB was originally connected. Everything worked as expected. I was going to need a bigger speaker enclosure for this project. At the same time I also had this old bamboo cutting board in the kitchen that I was otherwise going to throw in the garbage. It looked terrible, but I gave it some good sanding and half an hour later it was nice and shiny. I could not get rid of all the stains, so eventually I cut off the parts that still had some. Next I fired up the table saw to cut the board in pieces. It wasn't going to be big enough to provide all six sides of the speaker, so I decided to use the bamboo pieces for only four of the six sides. The front and the back were going to be made out of something else, probably plywood. The plan was to attach the original speaker to the front and on the back I was going to need two pieces of wood. One would be glued to the speaker and have an opening in the center for accessing the electronics. Then a second piece of wood acting as a cover would attach to it with screws. I ended up with four bamboo pieces of the same size, about 11 by 8.6 centimeters. To make them fit together more nicely, I made dados and rabbits by running the pieces several times over the table saw. Dados and rabbits are basically slots where other pieces of wood fit into. This creates a stronger connection between the pieces. The rabbits on the sides were 3 mm deep and the dados, which were made for the front and the back sides to fit into them, were 1 mm deep. Remember when I mentioned that I didn't throw away the plastics? That was because one of the plastic parts had this slot made specifically for the driver to fit into it. I wanted to reuse this part by attaching the speaker to it, so I trimmed it to remove all the excess plastic. After some cutting and sanding, I was left with this piece of plastic, which I glued to a piece of plywood using CA glue. In hindsight, this was not a good idea, but all was fine in the end. So my goal with this step was to use my router and a flush trim bit to make an exact copy of this circular opening. So I fired up the router, cut the hole in the piece of plywood, and then I realized that the glue had stuck the plastic to the plywood too well and I couldn't separate them. That's why I made a copy of the cutout into another piece of plywood. After that I used my router to strip away the plywood behind the plastic piece. Eventually and after some sanding I was able to separate the plastic from the plywood. 
Then I marked out its shape onto the second plywood piece while holding it over the new cutout. After that, I used my router to make a socket in the plywood for the plastic piece to fit into. I also cut this piece for the back and made an opening in it with my Dremel tool. At this point I decided to make sure that all pieces fit together, only one piece needed some fine adjustments. Next I could safely glue the plastic piece to the front side. I also glued the battery holder to one of the bamboo pieces. Later that evening I glued all six pieces together using regular wood glue. Then I clamped them together and let the glue dry completely overnight. On the next day, I cut a piece of wood that was going to be the back cover of the speaker. I wrapped it in painter's tape to stop it from moving around and put it where it was going to be attached later. Using a countersink bit, which looks like this, I made countersinks for four short screws. They were going to hold the rear cover instead of glue. To mount the battery charging module on the back cover, I cut thin strips of wood. Then I glued them together in layers to create a holder of sorts. And after the glue was dry, I trimmed the piece from both sides. For the front I wanted to create a protective grill using this special fabric that I had. First I made a small wooden frame out of thin strips of wood. Notice that the frame was a bit smaller but that's intentional, that's because the fabric is going to be tucked in from all sides. Then I cut a small piece of the fabric, it was about 2 cm larger than the frame on every side. I applied two component adhesive onto the frame and glued it to the fabric. After that I trimmed the fabric and glued it so that it wraps around the sides of the frame. Later I sprayed the speaker with several coats of spray lacquer and let it dry overnight. On the next day, I made a cutout for the battery charging module on the back side. I also mounted a simple power switch to it. All that was left to do was to wire up all the electronics. To give you a better idea of how everything is connected, here is a schematic. The battery charging module is connected to the battery and provides power to a voltage booster. The voltage booster sends a constant 4.5 volts supply to the Bluetooth receiver and to the power amplifier. I then proceeded with wiring everything together according to the provided schematic. I also made sure that the voltage booster is set to the required 4.5 volts. Just to be safe, I gave the circuit one more test before closing the speaker and thankfully it worked as expected. Finally, I glued the grill to the front with a little bit of hot glue. And that's how this project came together. I like the way it looks and I'm happy that I got to recycle old stuff that was destined for the trash can. As always, you can leave your comments below and I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to never miss any of my future videos.